Hi, my name is Dr. Harish and uh, we'll talk about the car ergonomic today. So I'm living like a city, uh, millennium city like Gurgaon. We have lots of vehicle out there and most of the time it's a jam like situation out there. And uh, especially when going to your office and coming back to your home, you feel some kind of tiredness, some kind of headache. So these kind of circumstances could cause these kind of things like headache and tiredness. And there is a study that state that uh, the poor driving habits and uh, these kind of circumstances that hamper your productivity as well and that can decrease your productivity up to 30%. So today I'm going to tell you certain tips that you can use your uh, that that you can use while driving. Okay. So the first of all, the seat belt is the most important part of the car. So uh, you need to tie the seat belt up first. Uh, when you are going for a long drive, you need to loosen up the seat belt in every 30 minutes because uh, you never lie. Sometimes the seat uh, the seat belt gets stuck in a particular angle, and that keep pressing your stomach. Ultimately, that give you some kind of regurgitation, some kind of stomach irritation, uh, some kind of uh, sometimes acidity as well. So it's better to always loosen up your belt while driving more than two hours, okay, and every 30 minutes. So next thing is the seat angle. The seat angle should be 90 to 100 degree. Uh, the 100 degree angle is the perfect angle actually. That's how you can make the 100 degree. So this is the 100 degree angle. So the benefit of uh, uh, getting into the 100 degree angle is that the line of gravity falls posterior side. So that's that's give you um, that's that's give you support over your posterior side over your back. And uh, that helps to maintain the base of sport as well. And uh, ultimately, uh, your hips get more room to move around freely, and you can operate the clutch and brake um, in, in, in a good manner. Okay. So next thing is that uh, the distance between the knees and dashboard should be three to five inches. So it would be like that. This is three to f okay. So that would be that's. Uh, that's give you more room to the knee so that uh, the knee can operate the clutch very freely and it help to prevent the excessive motion over the hip as well so okay so that would be a perfect angle all right so next thing is that uh, we have two kind of people who drive with the single hand and other kind of people who drive with the two hand it's nothing wrong driving with the, with the single hand but ultimately when you are going for the long drive uh, driving with the single hand that could increase pressure over the your shoulder and uh, that increase the pressure over the trapezius muscle so end of the day you feel come some kind of uh, uneasiness in the hand uh, it, it could it could cause the neck pain as well so that's happen due to the single hand driving so it's always better if you are driving with the two hand because driving with the two hand that's uh, that's help to maintain the line of force in between the both hands and it's help, it's, it's give you more sense of security, uh, more sense of comfort as well. The next st step is you need to take out your wallet and belongings from the back pocket, okay. Because uh, uh, that wallet and belongings is that heavy that can, can compress your sciatic nerve, that can compress the blood flow as well. So most of the time you have noticed as well that your, your leg get numb you get some you get some kind of uneasiness in the leg just because of this thing because uh, because there, there is a lots of path holes that keep compressing your sciatic nerves so always better to uh, keep your belongings from uh, keep keep out your belongings from your back pocket the next thing is wearing a sunglass during drive is a good idea actually because the the the, the season like june july when the sun is on, on equator it's emit a direct sunlight and uh, direct uv light Okay, that's create lots of reflection on the road, uh, lots of mirages on the road. So ultimately that impinge your eyes and you feel some kind of blurring vision and uh, it can create the headache as well. So always use the sunglass while driving. It's a good idea. We can do certain stretches in the car only. So like you can stretch your neck both sides. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, by putting the hand there, one, two, three, four, five, like this. One, two, three, both sides. Okay, you can need to rotate your neck to loosen up the neck. 
moving your neck these your blood supply to the brain uh, third you can rotate your back like this both side that's how you can do okay you just uh, put two fist around the back here and you can press them up like this you can stretch your back up like that okay right okay. you can stretch your deltoid like that okay. to loosen up the shoulder loosen up the trapezius you can stretch your finger yeah ultimately that will leave the whole presser around your upper half okay. this is the last step and the most important step i would say especially when you are going for a long drive more than two hours of journey so you need to get out of the car in every hour because you need to loosen up your body okay for a long journey you need to, to get out of the car in every hour and you need to loosen up your body you need to stretch your arm you need to stretch your elbow like this okay you need to take a take a round okay you need to loosen up your knees okay you need to spend at least 2 minutes for you know uh, setting up your body actually and uh, uh, taking a cup of tea is a good idea so uh, basically if you are following these kind of advice while driving you can prevent the back pain leg pain sciatica and lots of health problems that do, that do, do happens due to the poor driving habits thank you